Hey guys, so we do have a new picture here of the Samsung Galaxy S8. This is from the front and the back. So we did have a picture the other day just showing the back uh, of the device and GSM Arena is showing us now the official render uh, which will actually come with the device when it is due to be released uh, in a month or so. So this uh, looks absolutely fantastic in terms of the like screen uh, to bezel ratio. Uh, it's coming obviously with a I think fingerprint scanner on the back here uh, so that kind of contradicts previous reports that the fingerprint scanner would be uh, integrated into the screen uh, so you know I personally I was looking forward to a different way of using a fingerprint scanner uh, but nevertheless if it's on the back you know it should uh, be pretty good uh, in terms of how it nestles in your finger and you can also see, uh, you know, there is a very minimal kind of bezel here, uh, as expected. Uh, there doesn't seem to also be a Samsung logo on the front, which is a little bit suspicious to me. You know, Samsung does like to put its uh, official logo everywhere. Uh, there is actually one on the back, you know, which uh, is fitting in with how Samsung does like to do things. Uh, one of the most interesting things I have seen about this device is that it's actually coming in very large in terms of the actual standard sizes so I think the uh, size that you're going to be getting are 5.7 inch and about 6.3 inches or something as the Galaxy S8 Plus now personally I would have liked to an option which is about 5 inches because obviously there's people out there who don't want a massive screen phone but they still want a phone which has like an amazing uh, you know uh, like specs and uh, you know the screen real estate so uh, while it's uh, you know good for people who, who want something that to replace their note uh, I think it would be nice if they made like a compact version uh, maybe we will see like a Galaxy S8 mini and you know with the same kind of specifications uh, so we did obviously see this image as well uh, which uh, actually is very similar to you know this latest official render you know it's got no Samsung logo on the front uh, we're having a very shiny kind of build to it uh, kind of like the S6 Edge Plus in terms of you know the silver option and obviously type C or is that it looks like it's uh, it could be like a type the old type uh, connector there which to me is a little bit uh, dodgy as well but you know maybe it's just the angle uh, it's good that we are seeing a headphone jack because there were rumors that they'd miss that out you know people who have wired headphones do rejoice uh, it looks like that uh, is going to be uh, fine in terms of the specifications uh, we should be getting uh, like a heartbeat, uh, a fingerprint sensor obviously, uh, we're also getting uh, 4 gigs of RAM I've read somewhere, uh, so not the 6 gigs that we were anticipating, uh, as well as uh, like the same kind of camera, 12 megapixel, uh, 1.7 aperture, so some of it could be seen as being very incremental in terms of the you know uh, specs like not a uh, massive leap as many people were expecting uh, but maybe people uh, you know should wait for the note 8 if they're looking for the next step up uh, this one probably is just going to be an improvement over the s7 and s7 edge uh, in terms of you know the things that count uh, but I'm getting very excited for it and you know we are counting down now to the uh, official release which I think uh, due to some of the uh, news articles are saying April 21st here so that's not too far away you know a couple of months and you know we will be uh, like coming here with the latest from Samsung uh, so uh, do uh, stay tuned for that uh, so yeah you know what do you think about these latest pictures do you like the size of the device do let me know and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next one cheers